You know the old saying, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. But what happens when an internet chef and a restaurant chef go past their heat tolerance? Tonight we dine in hell, brother. Yes, cheers. Test their physical limits. Liquids are coming out of all my holes right now, including ones you can't see on my face. And face off in the most intense and painful cooking challenge out there. I feel like I'm at a Halloween Horror night. Stick around if you can stand the heat, because this is Spice Floors. Hello, I am your host V. Welcome to Spice Wars, where the bravest taste buds get the better ingredients. Let's meet our hot-headed competitors now. Please welcome our first chef, the gutsy leader of the mythical kitchen, mythical chef Josh. The chef is here. He's not afraid to dabble his fingers in some hot oil, and he had a meal with Tom Hanks. I feel incredible. I have a game plan. I have a high heat tolerance. I drank a full pint of heavy whipping cream to coat my stomach. I'm living right now. Now please welcome our guest challenger, the founder and executive chef of Helen Ray's, Johnny Ray Zone. He beat Bobby Flay on the show, beat Bobby Flay, and look at this guy, he has way better tattoos than Josh does. Spicy food, something that really gives me a lot of pleasure in my cooking career. The two of you will be competing to make the most delicious dish and you will present it in front of a panel of mythical judges, but there's a catch. In order to obtain your ingredients, you must eat a hot pepper. So get your stomachs ready, because the more coveted the ingredient, the hotter the pepper. Whoever wins the battle will be having their picture on the wall of flames and a $1,000 donation to the charity of their choice. Today, the dish that you will be making the spiciest version of is cheeseburgers. So Johnny cooks some of the best food in all of Los Angeles, uh, but not only is fried chicken sandwiches, he's also classically trained and he can really cook anything under the sun. So I think I know exactly what he's gonna do and I know it's gonna be tasty, but I'm gonna try and wow the judges with my big bombastic Guy Fieri ass flavors. Hello contestants. Just like V mentioned, to obtain each ingredient you want to cook with, you must eat a hot pepper. The more coveted the ingredient, the spicier the pepper gets. Displayed before you, we have buns, cheese, and meats of your choosing. And as you can see, the better the ingredient, the spicier the pepper becomes. Okay, Josh and Johnny, I'm going to flip this pepper coin and see who picks first. Johnny, since you are our guest, heads or tails, my guy? Uh, let's go with tails. Tails, okay. I've never done this before, let's... <laughs> That's the best I can do! <laughs> it flipped. All right, it's heads! That means, Josh, you get to pick first. You are allowed to pick from any category. You can start wherever you'd like, and then, Johnny, you must follow the category, and then you will be able to switch and decide who gets what. Nicole, premium ingredients win championships. I'm taking the Wagyu ribeye and the ground chuck off the board. Johnny, hand it over. Okay. We're eating the ghost pepper. Off to a hot start. I will be going with the 80-20 ground beef and ground pork. Admirable. Johnny, now you get to pick either your cheese or your bun. I think I'm gonna go with the brioche and pretzel bun. Oh, 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 oh okay. God. Oh, God. It's getting spicy in here, woo! Josh? Can't overcompensate for bad meat, but that's fine. I'm gonna take the white bread and flour tortillas. Okay. <laughs> Why are they laughing? That's not bad. A good patty melt or something like that. Oh, we got things cooking. Yeah. We got things cooking. All right, Johnny, please pick your cheese. I think I'm gonna be going with the cheddar. God. Okay, so you're okay with that? Yes. Okay, I like your style. Josh, pick your cheese. I don't feel so if good anymore. Please. please look at him. He's like a shark. His eyes are like that of a predator. He feels nothing. <laughs> I'm going to go with the cream cheese and the baby bell. We're doing it. I got something up my sleeve. I got something working. I'm not scared. All right, gentlemen, hold on to your buttholes because it's about to get spicy. I feel pissed off that Josh got the Wagyu um, because that's the type of meat. All you have to do is not f it up. Now that both of you have chosen your key ingredients, you're more than welcome to use the pantry or the fridge for whatever else you'll need. In order to use one of your chosen ingredients, you must eat the corresponding pepper, and before you start cooking, you must unlock one of your ingredients. If the heat is too much for you to handle, you can take a seat in our hot box, and you can enjoy some milk, water, or ice cream. However, if you go to your hot box, you have to stay there for three minutes before you start cooking again. Are you ready, chefs? Yes. Yes, chef! Okay, you have 30 minutes minutes on the clock. Let the Spice Wars begin! Right. Tonight we dine in hell, brother. Yes, cheers. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I got, I got, I got it in my hand. Does this count? All right, we'll keep going, or? Okay. Oh okay. god. Wow. There's no more pepper. What? You good? I, no, you don't get it good. I told you. I told you. I'm definitely worried about consuming the ghost chilies uh, fresh like this, because the last time I consumed a fresh chili as such, there was a lot of vomit. Johnny, time is ticking away, brother. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of inspiration from, Amer uh, from American <sighs> Diner Classic, the patty melt. I'm gonna start with the cup. Oh. I haven't even swallowed the jalapeno yet. It's that raw pepper flick. Yeah, it's disgusting. You, right? I think I got pepper underneath the temporary crown in my mouth, and that's not gonna be great. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm, just, I'm out of it, man. That was I, good. I, I don't even know what the f is sick. Yeah, yeah, well, hey, but that's why we pitched this idea. You know, we're like, how does the human body respond to being in crisis? Holy shit. We're trying to cook. We gotta get the onions going. All right. I'm gonna deglaze these. I'm gonna get some mushrooms too. I'm gonna deglaze this with a yes. nice shiitake broth. Yes, chef. Yeah. No, cat broth. Yeah, yeah, take, 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 take. I just need one, I just need oh. one. God. We had no idea this was gonna go. This is about right. This is about right to start. Hold on. I gotta cook in a restaurant later. <laughs> Seriously, and that's not even the hottest one. This is my whole day. I am literally so worried about these two boys. I was going back and forth about what kind of peppers they should eat, you know, what the levels should be, what should be our limit. It is terrifying what they're getting themselves into. I'm gonna do like a sort of diner style. Oh, what's, that? Pat. what's that thing called, the patty melt? <laughs> Johnny, you're right, man. So Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mythical Kitchen. You said this was your idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I pitched it like four years ago, and we're like, this is a terrible idea. We should never do this. And then, like, a couple weeks ago, we was just like, hey, why not? You know? I feel high, man. How you, you don't? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm going to get there. Um, I'm going to have to eat that ghost chili sometime soon. But I want to get some of my stuff working right now. Just so by the time the ghost chili hits, I'm like, you know, already got some things cooking and I can actually serve the judges. I don't have to eat the ghost chili until I touch the meat. Can I put the meat in the freezer and that doesn't count as touching it? No, you can't f that. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's demeanor changed immediately. Okay, Seriously, okay. man, look like, I mean, you Johnny, look can, my you do, can you do a little advertisement for a salt well? 100%. Yeah. Season your damn food. The new Mythical Kitchen salt well, available now at mythical.com. We got some beautiful pork, some beef, 80-20, mixing that together. I'm just testing out this griddle. Uh, gonna do a smash burger, some cheddar cheese, some bread, and I'm gonna make a sauce. I don't, I don't even know about the sauce. Ow, oh, he's killing it! So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the, the white bread that I chose and deliberately wanted to be able to be cogent enough to cook right now, so that's why I got the white bread, just eat a jalapeno, and I'm gonna make grilled cheeses with the baby bell in the white bread, use those as buns, for a uh, chipotle cream cheese jalapeno popper burger. You cooking the burger that early? I wanted to taste the blend to see if it tastes right. like, you know what I mean? Fair, fair, fair. So a little hot, so I gotta okay. lower my heat. But I wanna taste it. I never you see the Maillard reaction thing? Yeah, look at that crust, man. That's good stuff. Yeah, here you go. You wanna see this? How <sighs> crispy. Hey, with the pork in there? Oh, good. Yeah. Hot, though. It's hot, especially with the heat in your mouth. Are you doing something spicy yeah, yeah. in your thing? God dang right, Johnny. I'm gonna be making a chipotle and scallion cream cheese. A little nod to my Jewish heritage here. This is like equal parts Jewish heritage and white trash diner food. Chipotle is Jewish? What? Chipotle yeah, yeah, is yeah. Jewish? There's Jews in Mexico. <sighs> Not the cream cheese, man. Like you go get like a nice like a uh, chipotle cream cheese with scallions in it. But I'm doing that on a burger with grilled cheese. He's boxing why, now. Why, you're on my this guy's space. gonna play D1 ball. I don't know if you guys know that. Hey, yeah. Let me see your let me see your jump shot. Let me see your form. No, oh, man. I'm gonna explode. No, it. No, I can't no, judge Johnny. I'm gonna poop my pants if I even try and jump right now. Ah. But you gotta like, like hit him with a little step back. You kind of like. Hey, oh, God, hey. I messed up the set decoration. Yeah, that was pretty kinda good. Like, Thank you. Come on, shoot it. Shoot over. That's here. a foul. That's no, a foul. No. That's a foul. Look here. What? You make it. <laughs> I'll do something. I'll give you something. You ready? Okay, okay. I must swat your shit. That's a foul. Bucket. Oh. Bucket. No. I'm gonna go ahead, chop up my chipotles as much as possible, along with my scallions. That's gonna go inside my kind of cream cheese mayonnaise concoction. It's gonna be the sauce for my burger. Yuzu kosho. Yeah. Oh, you got some yuzu kosho. Super easy. Going? Do you have like a like a general like theme for your burger? Like you inspired by a certain country or? Right now, I'm doing a lot of Japanese food with me and my wife. Okay. Um, shout out to Marikai Market, uh, <laughs> and and shout out to Instacart. 
<laughs> because uh, I'm getting all my ingredients from this place that I would not normally drive to uh, because it's far from my house. And I get all these like hardcore Japanese, Thai, fresh galangal, you name it. Like just such cool shit, you know? I don't know where I'm going with this story. <laughs> See, I didn't have the option yeah. to eat some bullshit. That's like, why I picked it. Yeah, but look, I got cream cheese and baby bell on a freaking burger now. I don't act like, you know. You're, you're playing it smart. the easy way out. You know, I'm a veteran of the game. Maybe I study this. I study the greats, the Spice Wars. Your shit looks like it's about to boil over. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> on Beat Bobby Flay, my wife played a prank on me and decided that my signature dish was fish tacos, which in reality, was not. And when I competed against Mr. Flay in the fish taco battle, I still came out victorious. No? It, okay, is this considered spicy? Like yuzu kosho? Or, yeah. I, mean, I don't know what you guys, are you eight? Ah, oh, my guy. Hold on, hold on, where's the thing? See, look, zoom into this shit. Uh, He's not even through the whole <laughs> I'm sorry I'm cursing so much. Don't tell me I shouldn't do it. Do it? If you don't do it, it's this show. Do it, do it, do it. I did it. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, dude. No, your body immediately feels like it's being poisoned. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm chilling now. Like, I'm feeling good. I'm I'm, re I'm locked in, man. I'm scared I ate a pepper. <laughs> I'm scared. Johnny, I don't want to be here anymore. This is my idea. We could have just made, like, I don't know, like ground beef pop tart. What else do I have to do? I just cook my shit, put my cheese, this toast is, my. Oh, this butter. This is intense, man. This is intense. It is. Uh oh. My mouth is leaking. Oh, my I mouth ate. is leaking. Johnny, my mouth is oh, leaking. No, no, I saw that shit. I didn't know. I God saw damn that it. Shit. <laughs> I was just a little bit. I, what are you doing? What are you doing? You want me to eat my own spit? You want me to eat my own spit? <laughs> Come on, man. Like, what the f? Can oh, we, God. Can we get like one eighth? I gotta change my gloves now. You had one eighth of a ghost. So he can eat the whole pepper? Uh, I'll, Josh, I'll eat one of the yard. Josh, it sounds like you should take a time out in the hot box. <laughs> I'll eat one of the yard. What are you doing? I gotta get this thing. Hold on, I'm go. I'm foul. The mouth that was spit into the trash is here. Uh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. Uh oh. Uh, you play any video games as a kid? Yeah, man, I played all of them, man. You play video what, games? What, what, were you like first person shooter guy or like chess or? Uh, a lot of sports games, you know. A lot of squidge games? A sports, sports. Sports, oh, like Madden uh, and sh Madden? Oh, man. You play video games? You like video games? I used to when I was a kid. Shout out to all my Diablo 4 players right now uh, that just came out. Uh, Warcraft 3. Uh, I was pretty good at Warcraft 3. But I, I feel like one thing that I was really blessed with as a, as a kid was my dad, he let me and my brother just stay up all night playing video games. And I used it so much in my career in terms of like strategy, skill set, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying over there? Oh, yeah, the like career. What are, you, what, what are your thoughts? If you have a kid, no, I have but. A beautiful son, he's gonna be so big and beautiful. You have a, you don't have a kid yet, do you? No, yeah, I'm gonna have one though. He's gonna be so beautiful. You really seeming like a kid over there. Like, you look like a child. Me. Today, at least, I've learned the consequences of my own actions. And this is way more difficult than we thought it would be. We knew it would be hard. Nobody said it would be easy, but no one ever said it would be this hard at the same time. Doing my meat so, I was hoping, though, you gotta lean in. You know what I mean? I mean, this is what, listen, I spent my entire life, I've been an athlete. You know, it's all about ignoring pain, you know, not listening to your body when everybody says that you should. Liquids are coming out of all my holes right now, including the ones you can't see on my face. What's it called? Orifices? Uh it's orifices, right? Orifice. Johnny, how are your orifices doing? Man, when I'm at the restaurant later, I, I, you know, I hope they don't f up something because I'm gonna be like on both sides, but but I uh -huh. might be a little short tempered. Yeah, oh, all of you watch your asses. Ow. This is probably the funniest thing I've ever seen Josh do. He tried to do a kickflip one time. I'm gonna try and wad up a big ball of ice cream in my mouth and get back to cooking. Oh go, oh go. Hey, uh, I've been watching a lot of Peaky Blinders and there's a lot about like smoke and mirrors uh -huh. and stuff and like presentation and all that stuff. Uh -huh. I think it's really important. So because I haven't really done that much cooking at all, I'm gonna rely on the fact that it's plated in smoke. I gotta grind, I still have to grind my meat. You never underestimate any opponents, whether it's Bobby Flay or Josh. You always treat your enemies with the utmost respect and dignity and you bring your A game, and that's what I'm gonna do. 
Okay. Hey, this is dope. This is cool. Are you enjoying yourself? You don't don't act like you were all like high and mighty at the beginning of this. This where I ate one habanero and Chef, couldn't stop hang. Stop cooking! <laughs> it's me, Jordan from Sport. Oh, I'm here with a classic cooking show challenge. I don't have time for this. You just explain it. I'll eat it. Okay. All right. These are wings topped with Mad Dog 357 Ghost Pepper Extract Tequila Edition. It's the worst hot sauce I've ever tasted in my life, and it's extremely, extremely hot. So you have to eat. So you have to stop cooking. We, oh, we. Ha oh, 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 shit. Uh, we have to eat these. Yes, you have to eat one, and then you have to Who completely. Who says? Me. Uh, Jordan kind of has authority around here. I'm Jordan from Sport. He got one? He took it and he's cleaned the bone. You have to clean the bone. Gotcha. And this is the mad dog. Yeah. Okay. Not only is it hot, you know it's the, nasty. You know the, the trick, right? You do this all the time. Yeah, you just kind of open your throat and relax. and You do the... the, 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 the uh, can I get back to cooking? I'm so sorry, Jordan. It's, it's, it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day for us. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, good job, both of you. Continue to cook. Jordan, I'm so sorry. Oh, wait. I have a plug. They ate the wings so fast, I got scared. Um, I wrote an article. We wrote an article about this hot sauce and how bad it is. You can read it on sport.com. <gasps> Fine, I'll eat one in solidarity. All right. If you want to find a good hot sauce, we also have a list for that on sport.com. I do have a really high heat tolerance. I first had to bomb hot sauce when I was eight years old. I was in a Chinese restaurant and I went up to the owner and I was like, do you have anything hotter than sriracha? And he was like, no. And then a random dude, don't even know if he worked there, who was sweeping the floor was like, I got something for you, little child. And he went back into the back and came out with a small bottle of da bomb hot sauce and said, only use a little toothpick. I have no idea who that man was. I don't know if he existed. He may have been a ghost, but that set me on my lifelong journey of chasing the spice and riding the lightning. Okay. Ten uh, minutes left. Uh, right. uh, uh, You're both doing great. Jal jalapeno. Uh, you go? Yeah. You, uh, should I eat it for you? No, no I got it. You got to go to the water, man. The smokers. You see? Papa, With it, no, is it to... working for you? No, yeah. Like, like, you see how there's no smoke going in that? Yeah, you got to like, hit a button. The button's on? Yeah, the button. Press. Kink. <sighs> oh, the line was kinked? Yeah, yeah. Hey! Hey! hey. Yeah. Doesn't that just scream like... Wow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wow! <laughs> exactly. Look at that shit! Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> wow. I got here, I got one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something for you guys. For your shot, your B-roll shit. <laughs> I have a lot of confidence in Johnny. His smash burger technique is chef's kiss. Although Josh is really good under pressure, and I don't know about you, but eating a bunch of hot peppers and being in a 30 minute cooking competition is a lot of pressure. I'm gonna eat one now. Yeah. Just a bite. Why eat the whole pepper? Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, Man, I that flavor, it's, it's so different. So now I can toast my shit. I got, okay, so I need to start making the grilled cheeses now. Burger's gonna come together real quick. Uh. <laughs> We're gonna get some beef tallow going in there. Oh, that's not bad. I think the habanero is spicier than yeah. the ghost chili. It happens, like it be like that sometimes, man. Like, last time I did this with my wife, uh, I vomited on the, the habanero. I mean, I don't know if you could tell, I was about, to, I was pretty close to vomiting right yeah, there. Yeah, so, so yeah, no, I heard all the noises, man. I can even eat, where'd the other one go? Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, grilled cheese buns are going. You ready for this shit? Six minutes. You ready? Do it, baby. Check it out. Oh, smokes and mirrors. Let's go there. I can't see anything. I have no idea oh, what's happening. Yeah. Ooh, you said one bite. How are you feeling for the ghost pepper? You know, it's not as bad. There it goes. What the f are these doing here? These are those poppers, right? What are you, yeah, eat them, man. God, stop it! <laughs> <My bad>. <laughs> 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 I like, feel like about a Halloween Horror Nights. Since when was there poppers up there? Ah, God, burnt my grilled cheese. All right, here we go. How much time? I ate my, I ate both peppers, right? I ate that one, that one, I'm good, so I'm chilling. Yeah, yeah, you're good, man. Okay, I burnt one side of my grilled cheese. I'll hide this on the bottom, it'll be totally cool. This one's coming off. I gotta Five get- Five minutes left. Five minutes, chef! Okay, this didn't cook down quite as much as I wanted it to. That's totally fine, that's still wet. I'm gonna give this a nice flip. So, Look at that lovely crust on that burger I gotta get. I'm gonna shut that down. Oh, that deep pit of the stomach hurt is now setting in. Yikes, yikes, yikes. 
What happened, dude? Ba why is there baby? What? The How did the baby belt get in my oil? And that's fine. Uh, we'll just pull this. Johnny, you're, are you done? Are you like done? Yeah. So, <laughs> smash burger, a mix of beef and pork, cheddar. I got a yuzu kosho aioli on the bottom. I'm good. I could even maybe do a caramelized onion. That now I can actually add some extra stuff. Where's where's my plate? I'm super into Johnny's vision. You know, going with a smash burger but adding that super special aioli. It's a really really good method to get a lot of flavor and keep it classic. I don't feel very good though. How are you feeling? I'm chilling. That's great. Look, for my you. shit's ready to go. Locked in. I'm trying my best. Locking in. I'm trying my best. Yes, chef. I'm locked in, locked chef. Locking in, baby. Our scallion chipotle cream cheese mayonnaise thing is down, chef. Two minutes. God dang it. Okay, fine. We're plating. We're plating. Plating burger, perfectly cooked. Nice smash, mired reaction. Uh, on one side, it should have a nice, beautiful medium cook on it. Bingo, bango. I want to let that grease really soak in. Where'd those uh, chilies go? Where should go? What? There you go. Oh, garnish, garnish, garnish. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. This is Where's up, but this is really the, funny. So I'm gonna. I need a fing olive! There's one fing. I found it, thank you. I'm so sorry for yelling. <laughs> I'm so sorry hold for yelling. On. Hold on, you just need one olive? <laughs> Garbage one, one olive. Maybe, you know? nice Borderline olive. burnt though, but it's good. It's a little burnt, you know? It's like <laughs> a little crispy. I kind of messed that one up. How much time? One minute, one minute. Lock it in. Uh, Lock great. it in. You need we're anything? Great. No, no, no. You good? You feel, you feel good? I'm chilling. I feel good, man. We're gonna do a little diner presentation on it. I think I wasted all the gas <laughs> on, the, on the torch. Okay, so that's on the way. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Choppy chef. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm just trying to have Your torch, sir. Yes, yeah, chef. Thank you so Ten. much. Oh, so much better. Eight, oh, God, I need to garnish. Seven, I need to garnish. Six, oh, God. Five, oh, God. Four, three, two, one. Hands up. Hey, hey Johnny. We did it. You're so wet. You're so wet. Is this, is this like a happy wet or a sad wet? I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm wet and happy. I'm, I feel terrible inside, very happy outside, kind of riding just a lightning bolt of insane feelings right now. But I'm incredibly proud of what I put out in the plate. Yeah, yeah. as long as you stand behind your dish and it's got mm -hmm. your integrity. Mm -hmm. What's that? Nothing. I'm feeling great. I feel I got that buzz going, you know. Sorry if I cursed a lot. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. Just I, I just want to see this shit. Look. <laughs> Shoot, that does look really good, man. That's Mine good. looks like a stupid cartoon compared to yours. Yours looks like a burger. Josh and Johnny, thank you for your bravery today and preparing these dishes. First up, we have a Josh's dish. Would you like to talk about it? Yes, thank you so much, chefs. What I've prepared for you today is a ground Wagyu ribeye burger. We are calling this the jalapeno popper patty melt. There is a Gouda grilled cheese on each side with a maitake mushroom onion jam and then a chipotle scallion cream cheese spread to mimic a jalapeno popper. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got good reactions on the first bite. Thank you, Josh. Johnny, would you like to talk about your burger? Yes, definitely. So we have a mixture of uh, pork and beef uh, for the patties. We smashed it, topped that with a little bit of American cheese, and then we have a yuzu kosho aioli on the bottom. Super straightforward, simple, something you can kind of end up craving. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I got two hours. You got a double one. Yeah, you got one. <laughs> uh, I thought Josh's burger was incredibly balanced. Um, I thought the meat was was really, really succulent and delicious, and it played really well with the creaminess of the cream cheese. And um, he said Gouda cheese, but we all know that that's mini Baby Bell cheeses. Baby Bell is Gouda, sure. I think. I thought Johnny's burger was incredibly produced. I mean, just the layers of flavor, the way everything kind of sings, I really enjoyed. The smoking gun was a very nice technique. I love love when someone pulls out the smoking gun. I think that this has like, it has meatiness, it has creaminess, like it's got like so many different textures going on, mm -hmm. which makes it like extremely fun to eat. It gives you a lot to think about. Yes. Um, and then this one is like this like very, it's very perfect. It's really smoky tasting and it's like beautiful looking. It's shiny. It's really good. <laughs> There's just something about a sloppy burger that just, catches my eye very quickly. Mm -hmm. So I enjoyed the meat essence, all the cheese. Um, for Johnny's burger, I just like how simple it is. It's very clean, very 
double meaty, which I also like. So the only thing I felt like Honestly, both burgers were lacking in a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. I was kind of ready to really kind of get like blown back or just like my first bite be like, oh, this is hot. But other than that, I thought it was seasoned well. I thought it was gorgeous. And yeah, if that spice would have just helped it a little bit more, but. Something happened to me where I couldn't taste any spice though <laughs> in the middle of that cooking competition. I don't know if you saw that. My palate was a little blown out, chef. Give us a second to deliberate. We'll be right back. I think it's a close race right now. They seem you to got, like both. You got the Wagyu though, you know. Mm. No, but yours is more of a burger. Mine's a weird sloppy sandwich. And it's because I wanted to take the jalapeno. All right, chefs, we have chosen a winner and that person will be on our wall of flames and the thousand dollars donate to their charity of choice. Well, we thought that both of these burgers were exceptionally delicious, but what it kind of came down to is this is a spice challenge. So we wanted some spice and that kind of helped make the decision for us, so. That's why the winner of the first ever Spice Wars is Mythical Chef John! Yay! Congratulations! Josh, what charity are you playing for? I am playing for No Kid Hungry. I have their tattoo on my lower back right here. Uh -huh. Big fan of them. Uh, but also, of course, Johnny, we're gonna be donating $500 to a charity of your choice, which is? Save the children. All the children are getting fed and saved nice. today, and that's what's really yeah. important. Um, Johnny, thank you so much for being our first ever contestant on Spice Wars. Judges, thank you so much for doing what you do. Everybody, make sure to check out Howlin' Ray's in Los Angeles. They got a brand new menu, 2.0 dropping. They got a new sandwich, a couple new sauces come to the menu. Mac and cheese, it's gonna be nuts. And of course, thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, comment what chef you want to see on the show next. We're not gonna do an episode two. Johnny, what are you about to go do right now? I'm about to go to the restaurant and cook on the line. I'm coming with, let's do it, brother. Thank you. Go to war with bland cooking and start seasoning your damn food with a Mythical Kitchen salt well. Available now at mythical.com.